Hey guys, it's Numa Stacker here, and this is one for you that I recorded just before I came out uh, of the UK to uh, vacation in America. And uh, this is about the Griffin, the new, uh, the new gold coin and silver coin from the Royal Mint in the Beast series. Um, you'll see. You'll see these coins coming back over and over again over the next few years. It's going to take five years or so for the complete series to be produced. And uh, as you know, uh, I'm a fan of the quarter ounce gold um, beast. Um, originally, they were thinking it might stop production, but it doesn't seem to have stopped production at all. Uh, and in fact, it's come back as the quarter ounce griffin, which should now be available pretty widely uh, over in the States. And uh, it's just gone on sale at the Royal Mint Bullion, if you have accounts at the Royal Mint Bullion. If you buy it from Royal Mint Bullion, you get a, you get a capsule with it. Otherwise, you probably get it in a flip or something. But I've had two of these I've had graded uh, by NGC. One of them scored a 70, the other one a 69. Uh, I had a look the other day. There's still only about... I think 25 uh, or 30 of uh, 70s that have been graded. But um, nevertheless, uh, I plan to grade a couple of these each, um, each half year so that eventually I build up the complete set in that quarter ounce format. Uh, I like the quarter ounce format. I also like the one ounce format, but I can't see myself necessarily building a set of 10 one ounce coins. That's quite a big commitment to, uh, to this series. And I think that the, bull the, the bullion uh, quarter ounce will retain a reasonable premium over the years as the set builds. I think there'll be many more buyers who are looking for the quarter ounce coin than the one ounce coin. Although I may buy just one or two of the one ounce coins uh, while the set is going on because I think the design looks pretty good in that one ounce format. So uh, this Griffin... This was um, it, uh, delivered to me by Royal Mint Bullion. You can see it's in the capsule, and uh, that usually means it's come straight from the Royal Mint. Um, the quality seems to be uh, pretty reasonable. Uh, it may not be a 70, but I think it should get hopefully a 69, uh, and we'll see. It'll be sent in over the next few couple of weeks uh, while I'm here in the States, and uh, we'll see what, what it gets. And uh, hopefully I can find a couple of good ones over the year and maybe stand a chance at getting a 70 with the Griffin as well. Um, but it's a, it's a nice coin. I think it makes sense. Um, I think in many ways it makes much more sense than the Proof coin. The Proof coin, they want £455. There are over 2,000 of those that have been minted. Mintage is very, very high for an expensive Proof. Um, frankly, I cannot see the Proof uh, retaining its value. I think that... Um, if you compare it to, say, the Sovereign 2017, already the last four sales on eBay are between £150 and £200 more than the Royal Mint offer price of £230 for that coin. This one at, at, uh, at uh, £455, um, I really can't see it. I can't see it making money. Um, I think it's a nice coin to have. It's a beautiful design. Um, Jody Clark did a very good job on it. The frosting is very good. I mean, it really is, if you've got the money, a wonderful piece. However, I think those uh, proof uh, beasts will be available for around about £350 at some stage on the second-hand market, uh, pre-owned market. And I am not convinced they, they are a good buy at the, uh, at the mint price. And I think uh, it's a big commitment to buy them from the Mint, uh, to want to buy 10 of those at uh, £455 or maybe more. I think that's, um, that's a big commitment to the set. I don't have that commitment to the set at the moment, but I'm very happy having these MS coins, which I think are going to be a good buy going forward and make up a really nice looking little set of quarter ounce coins, which are a good format. So let me know what you guys think of the gold Griffin and the Beast series going forward as well. Thanks a lot, guys.